we are back after two full zeros in los angeles we had a lot of fun between all of the food and six flags and go-karting we were like living it up like kids again it was so fun but huge shout out to graham's family thank you so much chris and pam for letting us stay we had such a great time but we are ready to get hiking again to canada we go As you can probably tell, we've been bushwhacking through some thick overgrowth. Like it has been crazy. To make matters worse, I've been feeling terrible today. Like very nauseous, sick to my stomach, dizzy, and just like exhausted and sleepy. I don't really know why. As soon as we set foot on the trail when we got dropped off, I just like, my body went into shock. Like, guess it wasn't ready to get hiking again. But I don't know, a couple miles later now, I've been feeling a little better. At least it's not too hard of a day. The weather's nice. I always try to keep a good mental attitude even when we're feeling kind of not good. It's gonna be a good day. So we didn't expect to see that up here. The US Forest Service is doing some flybys. It looks like they're practicing for some wildfire control. Really cool to see that. They're like only a hundred feet above us on top of this ridge. Super cool. We just made it into camp, as you can tell, right before dark. Uh, we're camped here at the North Fork Ranger Station, which we never actually expected to make it this far. We got a late start, about 11 o'clock, and ended up doing 17 and a half miles, which is pretty impressive with uh, the time we had. This place is awesome. Um, there's a bunch of trail magic here, and there's also some uh, sodas and snacks you can pay for over there, so. We're gonna eat some dinner and get some good sleep. Excited to be back. On tonight's menu, Parmesan pasta with hot dogs. Not sure how it's gonna be. Good morning. I slept surprisingly well last night, considering that was the first night back after three nights in a real bed. Tried something new for breakfast today. We got some overnight oatmeal, cold soaking. So that's pretty exciting, trying something new. Today should be a pretty eventful day. We're stopping in at the Acton KOA to resupply from a box we sent. And then this evening, we're gonna be hiking into Agua Dulce where there should be some town food we can get for dinner. Looking forward to that. So we just picked up our package from the Acton KOA. Found a nice shady spot to eat lunch while we're here. And then we're gonna push on to Agua Dulce. There should be some hot food. There's like several restaurants there. So we're gonna eat dinner there and then find somewhere to camp shortly after. Whew. It is hot today. There's no shade. It's extremely dry, and the next water isn't until Agua Dulce. The sun is just kicking our butts today. The good news is, I can see Agua Dulce. It's just right over there on the other side of 
Highway 14 here. I can see trees and shade, but man, it is hot. Gonna have to get a cold beverage when we get there. That is for sure. So we're hiking through Vasquez Rocks County Park here, just outside of Agua Dulce. And this is actually a pretty famous spot where a bunch of Hollywood movies and shows have been filmed. I believe Star Trek and Planet of the Apes were filmed out here. It was pretty cool to be walking through a little bit of film history. We just wrapped up dinner at Big Mouth Pizza. We split two large pizzas and a salad and it was so good. Absolutely delicious. And a cold beer to finish out the really, really hot day we had. Now our issue is getting out of town. The sun is setting. We didn't realize there were three miles of road walking to get out of town. So we're just gonna keep walking until we find a spot to put a tent, I guess. Worth it for the pizza though, absolutely worth it. So hot all day. And on our way out of town, we just got the best trail magic I could have asked for. All I've wanted all day was a cold beverage and here it is. So we finally made it into camp around nine last night. This is probably one of the worst pitch tents of the trail so far. <laughs> Can't complain too much that uh, pizza was amazing and it was worth getting a pretty bad campsite for. So not a bad day. Um, today the water looks pretty awful. There's two water sources. The first one's in six miles. Then the last one is 15 miles past that. It would be nice to camp near that second water source, but it's 21 miles from here. So we'd have to push past 21. So we'll see. Hasn't even been an hour yet. Maybe two miles from camp and it's scorching out. Like it's probably already as hot as it was yesterday at the hottest point. It's gonna be brutally hot today for sure. So we've been climbing all morning I think we're close to five and a half or six miles up. At least 2,000 feet. I don't really remember what the elevation was, but it was tough. Now we've got this pretty decent view up here. It's not too bad. I'll be really excited if we can get some shade. That'd be sweet. Man, it has been so hot today. I've just been guzzling water all day long. I have like haven't felt fully hydrated like at all. But we're almost to the end of this 15 mile water carry, which is good because this is all the water I have left. And I'm just like so thirsty, I wanna finish it. But three more miles, we'll have more water. I carried plenty of water, but like my body just wants to drink more than I need. It's just that hot of a day.
Today is day 35. It is also May 6th, which is Graham's birthday. For his birthday, the trail got him a special gift. We're coming up on our second fire closure today. We have a 14 mile road walk around the Lake Hughes fire. So happy birthday to Graham. 14 mile road walk, how exciting. <laughs> found some water here about five or so miles into the road walk this might be the only water for the day and it is nasty looking like really gross probably the worst water we've seen all trail so we treated it with our chemical tablets we'll wait 30 minutes and then we'll probably also filter it double treatment um yeah I hope there's a water at this water cache at the end of the road walk. Cause I don't want to carry any more of this water than we absolutely need to. Ugh. Well, we finished the road walk. I really feel like that was more than 14 miles. That was just never ending. <laughs> Needless to say, we're all tired and it's just too lazy to get up and put the tent up. So we're just sitting here enjoying the shade. Oh my gosh, y'all's feet smell so bad. <laughs> so <yee. laughs> Whew. Good morning. It is seven o'clock. Just got rolling, and we are headed down towards Hiker Town. Pretty excited to see what Hiker Town's all about. I've heard all kinds of things about it. But we're about six miles from there. We're gonna spend pretty much all day hanging out, waiting out the heat, and then get rolling right around sunset and hike the infamous LA aqueduct section tonight. Should be a good time. We got into Hiker Town pretty early this morning. We've been having a great time relaxing, hanging out. We caught up with a group of like a pretty big bubble of hikers, which is very exciting because we've been hiking alone for like the last month for the most part. Um, we went into the market here. We got our packages, we resupplied, got some carne asada fries, which I would highly recommend very good and we managed to kill a whole day it is now five o'clock we've been here for about eight hours we're ready to get hiking we're going to do the aqueduct section about 20 ish miles give or take depending on how we're feeling hike until probably close to midnight and uh, i'm excited because there's a large group of us heading out all at once so it's gonna be a horde of through hiker trash through the night Good morning. It is 7 a.m. We slept in a little bit on account of us getting in at 11 last night. We ended up knocking out the aqueduct. It was about 
18 miles from Hiker Town. We camped here at this wind farm, which as you can imagine, was extremely windy last night. Our tent collapsed four times <laughs> and I had to get up and restake it. It was absolutely crazy last night with the wind. But 24 miles yesterday, it was pretty good. We'll take it easy, do a little bit less today and be in Tehachapi tomorrow. So fortunately, this water faucet was turned on this morning. A lot of times, the county will just turn it off randomly, so we got a little lucky there. Unfortunately, this is the last reliable water for 31 miles all the way to Tehachapi. So we're carrying about seven liters, which is the biggest water carry we've done so far. There might be some water caches along the way left by trail angels, but the comments on gut hooks doesn't make it seem super promising. So we never really try to rely on water caches like that. It's just too risky to run out of water here in the hot desert. So we'll push the 31 miles and to hatch is the next stop. So it turns out there is some more water today. We got to talking to some other hikers at lunch just a little while ago, and there has been a trail angel stocking up a water cache about four miles from where we currently are at. So I ended up drinking like three of my liters in the last hour just to super hydrate before we got to that cache. So now I only have about two and a half, three liters left out of the seven we originally carried. So we'll restock up at that water cache. So I just scooped up an extra liter here from this water cache. Very, very happy that that cache existed. In the last 15 miles, I drank five out of the seven liters I was carrying. That was supposed to last 31 miles. So I'm really happy we didn't have to end up carrying for 31 miles. Thank you so much to the Trail Angels maintaining that. But we're only a few more miles to camp. We've got a couple hours of daylight and then we will be into Hatchapi first thing in the morning. We'll end up nearing into town. It'll be like three or four miles possibly. I'm very, very excited for that. We got a hotel and everything. So it'll be a good time. So we were pleasantly surprised with that hitch. It only took like 20 or 30 minutes. We were starting to think like it could take an hour or more, but not bad. This town seems really hiker friendly. We're very excited because there's a Walmart. First Walmart that we can resupply at. There's a Panda Express. Oh, and the hotel's less than a mile from here. So it's gonna be a great stay.